you've had a long career in show business, but would you say this is the high point? Of oh, it? definitely, definitely. Um, to have a a wonderful wife, a wonderful show, wonderful people to work with in the show, both on and off stage. There, it's a it's a wonderful family. Um, you can't ask for more than that. You really can't. They've kind of taken me in as the mascot. I'm, <laughs> I'm around all the time. They're they're lovely. Every all the divas are not divas at all. Not at all. Not at all. They're lovely. lovely Some of them are really lovely. crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fun, and, fun, and loving people. Really, you know, when they say there's no business like show business, I know it sounds weird, but I've been in business my whole life, and there really isn't a business <laughs> like this. There is not. Good and bad. All right, this is going to be a tough one. Mm. One word. Oh. One word. One. Sorry. Oh, one you're, word. you're being tough. Okay. What is one word uh -huh. that you would use to describe Donna? Mine. That's a good one. I That's like a that great one. one. I like it too. I like that a lot. Okay, turning it to you now, Donna. One Fabu word. Fabulous. Fabulous. She's fabulous in every way. That was sweet. Fabulous was the word. One okay. Word. Fabulous. Yeah. She had. That's great. That's great. Is there anything else, Sam, you wanted to no, add? Is there anything uh, that perhaps we missed? Why isn't she asking this? Oh, why am I not asking this question that you would like to answer? Is it something that either one of you, have, or both of you, have to say? Well, we're pretty actually, excited. actually, you know what? No, there is one because uh, I really like to, in my own way, show my active. Uh, part of being in the gay community and the equality that, being that able exactly to to um, express how people have responded to our marriage um, it ups, upsets me that people don't see they look us as another entity um, in the past here again with Follies, I'm, I'm looking at it, and it was separatism. There was the black actor, and then they didn't work in anything else. They were only a specialty act. Uh, going through the years, when I, my father took me out of school, when he could finally vote. Um, just being able to see all, uh, doing the women's rights. I was at uh, Berkeley, we, burning bras, and so did all doing Mercury now. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, we're, of that, we're of that age, but being able to be married, Legally. So this is this. We were, I'm so glad we were able to jump on the bandwagon and be, actually, a, uh, the first I believe lesbian on Broadway that did it for New York City, uh, right. New York State laws. Um, we were, we're the most outed couple that there is. We just don't care. And, and because you know what, I'm a human being. I what I do on stage has nothing to do with what we do in our lives. We. What we do outside of our lives, maybe some other couple should take a look at as to why a relationship does work. Is because we do work for each other, and respect each other, exactly. and there shouldn't. What's wrong with that? And the, the the other thing is, you know, we have four children and five grandchildren. Five grandchildren who the the grandchildren don't look at us as black and white or as lesbians. They look at us as their bubbies. We're their grandmothers, yeah. and they don't, they, they're they absolutely colorblind and gender blind. So everybody could take a lesson from the kids. Yes. Yeah, they really could. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah. They're, they're, they really are. They, mm -hmm. They're brought up in Key West, which is one human family. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're around gay males, lesbian couples, uh, cross-dressers, <laughs> uh, transgender. And it's just, it's, it's just a phase. Everybody is one happy family. Yeah. The gay people go to dinner with the straight people, <laughs> and it's, it's. What was it like the night of the wedding? Um, getting married on stage. I didn't oh, know that. Wow. Oh my God, it was thrilling. <laughs> it was really exciting. Because I it was, uh, there were two other couples that were there on stage. Male. And the male couples. And our minister was Coleman Domingo, who I did Chicago with last year. So to have him you us. unite us together, you know, yeah. see, it was so thrilling. All of those people cheering and everything the, whole the, whole, audience, the whole audience was it was packed in there the so, and they stayed. stayed they stayed for the wedding and it was just being able to share that moment with all these people is just it was wonderful and the kids some of the kids were there yeah two of some our, of our two kids of our sons came and in their spouses came came to the so wedding that, so that was great yeah, was yeah there's two, were too far apart, 
too far away. But. And how fitting it was on the stage. Yeah, yeah. well, of course. And the St. James <laughs> Theater is my lucky theater. We had our I did Barnum there, I did Finian's. years ago on the stage at the St. James after Finian's Rainbow. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Anything else, Sam?